Hello, I'm Troy from Codices, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create and host your own interactive game show on Twitch using Quizkit. So the first thing to do is install the extension. So we're going to go over to our creator dashboard. We're going to hit extensions and then search for Quizkit. There's also going to be a link in the description to take us directly to this page. Once on the page, all you'll do is hit install. Let's go over to the configuration panel first by going to our creator dashboard, hidden extensions, my extensions, and then click in this little cog in the bottom right hand corner of the quiz kit window. This brings up your configuration window and allows you to create quizzes and have a look at the pre made ones. Let's start by making a quiz. I'm going to type in my game show name. Now I'm going to select a game mode, either knockout or points. And I'm going to add some questions about video games. And I'm also going to create my own custom question. And then finish my quiz. Right, now that my quiz is ready, I'm going to hit activate, set as overlay one, and then head over to my live dashboard. You'll see a new panel which is the QuizKit extension. So this is where I can decide to play our own quiz or use one of the ready-made quizzes. I'm gonna use the one we just created. As soon as I hit start quiz, it's gonna begin and show the first question to the players. In this little dashboard, I can see what question's being shown, how much time's left, and then also what the correct answer is. Once the time's up, I can reveal the answer to the audience and they can see whether or not they got it right. So this is what it looks like for the viewers watching your stream. They'll get the UI, the question will pop up, they'll be able to choose their answer. And you'll get points based on how quickly you answer the question. QuizKit is also mobile friendly and people can interact with it just as easy on iOS or Android. And that's the basics of hosting your own quiz show on Twitch. If you have any questions, feel free to come on our Discord or send us an email.